Okay, so uh, this is the full schematic for the uh, little LED optical comm system with a microphone. But I just wanted to concentrate on the uh, amplifier that amplifies the signal from the microphone. So, and again, I'm going to go through the calculations in a little detail. So this is for beginners or uh, people who don't know much about uh, transistor circuits. So uh, we have a single uh, NPN transistor, a 2N3904. It's classic. And uh, it's set up as a uh, common emitter amplifier. So the signal from the microphone, the electric microphone is biased by this 2.2K resistor, which sets the output impedance of the mic. It goes through a blocking cap, and then the signal we want to amplify uh, ends up here at the base of the transistor. So what we want to do is we want to design a common emitter amplifier. So uh, we're going to make some decisions to get started. And uh, the first decision we're going to make is that IC is 1 milliamp. So this is a class A amplifier. There's always current getting burned up by the amplifier, even when there's no signal. So we just chose that the, uh, the quiescent current flowing through this thing is going to be 1 milliamp. And I'm also going to choose that VE equals 1 volt. So immediately, now that we know that this is going to be at 1 volt, that sets this resistor at 1K. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to set the output voltage to be halfway between ground and the 9 volt rail. And we do that so that the signal that, out, that we output can have a maximum swing. Um, if we bias the signal up near one of the rails or down near ground, then we can't get our full amplification. So we want this to be at about 4.5 volts. Well, if we're going to power this thing off a 9 volt battery, that means we need a 4.5 volt drop across this resistor. And we already decided we're going to have 1 milliamp flowing. So that tells us that we need a 4.5K resistor. So uh, in the actual circuit, I used 4.7K because that's what I had available. So now immediately we know that the uh, DC gain of this circuit is 4.7 because that's 4.7 over 1K. So now these two resistors have already been designed. Now the, the next thing that we need to do is we need to calculate what the bias resistors are going to be. So since since this is at one point at one volt for the emitter, we know that the base is going to sit at about 1.7 or 1.6 volts. And we also know beta, which is the ratio of the base current, which we're going to call IB, to the collector current, which we're going to call IC, is about 100. We have a hundredth of a milliamp uh, flowing through the base. So a rule of thumb is, is we need to make this voltage divider stiff enough so that the biasing uh, will be robust. And so we want about 10 times IB flowing through this uh, voltage divider. And we're going to be a little more sophisticated, and we're going to say we want 11 IB flowing here. One IB is going to go that way, and then we're going to get 10 IBs here. Right? So... If we have a hundredth of a milliamp going to the base, that means we have to have a tenth of a milliamp here. And we know this is 1.7 volts, so that tells us that this resistor should be uh, 17K. And I've picked the uh, closest value I had on hand, which is 15K. So this resistor is taken care of. Now, this resistor, we're going to drop from 9 volts to 1.7. So that's a 7.3 volt drop, and we want 11 times 0.1 milliamps. So if we do that calculation, it turns out that this is 66K. So this resistor is taken care of, this one's taken care of, this one's taken care of, and this one we chose to be 1K for our 1 volt emitter voltage and 1 milliamp uh, collector current. So we've designed all of the resistors, and uh, the problem is, is that our DC gain is only 4.7. So what we do is... The, the DC components are designed to set the bias and center operating conditions of the circuit, but we can reduce this resistor for the AC uh, components, which is the, the audio that we're interested in, by bypassing it with a capacitor. So if we do that, then essentially the gain, it won't be infinite because there's a small amount of resistance in here that we neglect, and that's called RE. And it turns out RE is about 25 ohms per milliamp of collector current and we had one milliamp of collector current so this is 25 ohms so now our gain is going to be uh, 4.7 K over 25 ohms and that equals we'll, we'll do the calculation 4700 25 divide it's 180 
So my uh, camera ran out of uh, a memory card for a second. So anyway, uh, back to where we were. So uh, we were looking at the gain of the circuit for an AC signal. So when the frequency is high enough that essentially uh, it's this resistor is completely bypassed, our gain is going to be uh, 4,700 ohms divided by the emitter resistance, the intrinsic resistance, which is about 25 ohms for our 1 milliamp collector current. So 4,700 divided by 25 turns out to be uh, 188. So that's our gain. 188. And so that's almost 200, and that's uh, pretty good to amplify the small signal from the uh, microphone up into a reasonable level that will then go and drive our uh, LED current driver. So anyway, that's how you design a uh, common emitter amplifier. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks.